Mr. Speaker. I call the Honourable Member Jan Logie. Jan Akwe, Ms. Logie. Kia ora. Ora. I'm pleased to offer the Green Party support for this bill tonight um, and to offer my thanks to Louisa Wall for giving this House the opportunity to fix um, a situation that I found when you described it in the third reading of the marriage equality so incredibly moving and, um, and I'm really glad that Rowan and Doreen Shields, who I understand is here tonight, um, have given us, entrusted us with the job of trying to fix this and I have faith that this, will ha this House will fix this situation because it is, I think, plain to most if not all of us um, that a wrong has been done and it is something that is quite easily within our power to fix. Um, I will go through again along with others about outlining what has happened and what we're here to do tonight to start the process of fixing. So Rowan Sullivan was born in England to an English mother and her partner, a New Zealand woman. And because of the time that they were living in and the fact that they were a same-sex couple, they were not able to both have their names on the birth certificate. It was purely a matter of the times. Um, and when they moved to New Zealand and when Rowan was 17, her mother, who was named on the birth certificate, died. And Rowan decided to change the name on the certificate to that of her living mother. But to do so, she had to remove the name of her birth mother. And I can't imagine anyone in this house listening to that story and putting themselves in the shoes of a 17-year-old whose mum, who she was obviously very close to and really attached to, having died and having to choose between her mum, who's just died, its name being there, recognising her lineage and the mother who was there with her. To have to choose between those, it's a choice no person should ever have to make. And um, it's fantastic that it's coming here for us to be able to fix that situation. And I hope within this process that you can never rewrite history, but I do think it's always open for us to be able to apologise for our past ignorance. And I think that will be appropriate through that process to offer our apologies to Rowan and her family for having to had to go through that situation. And I also want to um, share the words that Louisa has already shared tonight because it seems most appropriate for me for this discussion to be primarily led by the words of the family. So I will again repeat those for the House. And they were a letter that was sent to Louisa on the third reading of the Marriage Equality Bill. And they're from, um, I think, from Doreen, saying, to quote, My partner and I had been together for seven years when we decided to start a family. When our daughter was born, my partner's name on the birth certificate as her birth mother. When our daughter was 13, my partner was diagnosed with terminal cancer. We talked to our solicitor and found out that the only way that I could adopt our daughter was if the relationship with her mum was legally terminated. How could we possibly do that to a child who was faced with her mum dying? Instead, I applied for and was granted guardianship. When my daughter turned 18, the guardianship expired. It was only when my own parents died that it struck home with me that my daughter and I now had no legal relationship, despite me having been her parent for all of her life. We talked it over and I applied to adopt her. Fortunately, all of this happened before she turned 20 because I believe it might have then have been too late. It was the right thing to do, but still hard on her. She gets a new birth certificate and her mum legally no longer exists. Well, I hope this is the start of the process for this House to acknowledge that Diane Sullivan did indeed exist and still exists as Rowan Sullivan's mother alongside Doreen Shields. We should be celebrating loving parenting and family 
and this is the House's chance to do that. Kia ora. Mr Speaker. Ah, Mr. good. Speaker. You called. You do have to call. I did, Mr oh, Speaker. Oh, maybe it's my hearing then. Sorry, no, I call the Honourable Member, Nikki Wagner. Thank you very much, Mr You're welcome. Speaker. This is a fascinating bill. Yes, um, because in the circumstances pertaining to Rowan Sullivan's birth certificate are pretty unusual. And I really like to thank Louisa Wall for her...